Folks, it's come a little monsoon out here. Got some rain came over from uh, near Mount Riot, cooling things off. All right, folks. Oh, yeah. That looks nice. Real nice. Look at that. Oh, that is nice. Well, this ain't no joke. It's, it's coming a little monsoon. A little light monsoon. And I hope Eric and Mercy are okay because they were out on the motorbike doing some shopping. I hope they, and I hope you guys just hold up and wait this out. I don't think it's going to last too long. But my goodness, it's coming a little downpour out there. Wow. All right, folks, I want to welcome you to my cooking show tonight. I'm going to be making tuna spaghetti. And it's going to be absolutely delicious. I really, really looking forward to this little meal to show you what I'm working with over here. Not the, the freshest of ingredients tonight. Got a can of century tuna, a couple cans of these uh, mushrooms, a little Del Monte Italian style sauce. Got some royal spaghetti. Right over here, I got the beautiful Janice. I got Janice chopping up some uh, garlic and them five tomatoes that I had. She's gonna slice up a cucumber over there because we got some, uh, uh, we're gonna make a, like a little Caesar salad. All right, folks, there, there's no time like the present. I'm just gonna go ahead and fire this thing up. Just a little bit of oil in there. Usually I like cooking with olive oil, but you know what, I'm out of olive oil. All right, so I got some water over there heating up in that aluminum aluminum pan so I can put the spaghetti noodles. And folks, usually I don't eat stuff out of can. Over here in Southeast Asia, I just don't buy stuff in a can. I don't eat stuff out of a can. Uh, in Thailand, I ate zero out of a can. Over here in the Philippines, okay, I've got a couple little, little items here. Just kind of keep as a backup, but usually over here, I'm eating everything fresh. Come in there with the garlic and the tomatoes. Let's let it go. I'm not draining the juice because the juice is just going to add flavor to it. Get with a little chili powder. Can't go wrong with the chili powder. Just paint that up. Just paint the top of it. Paint it till it's beautiful. Coming in here with the uh, lemon pepper. Now that says garlic, but we put the lemon pepper seasoning in here because we ran out of garlic. Well, got basil leaves. There's oregano coming in there. How about a little black pepper? You can't go wrong with that. A little black pepper. And I'm gonna tell you right now, that already changed the smell coming off of that dish. Sometimes I break that spaghetti up. But every time I try to break it in half or it fits in the pot, I just make a big ass mess. I'm just dropping it in there whole and just let it naturally come on and cook down. And folks, I'm gonna tell you, that is almost spaghetti sauce in itself before I come in there with the Del Monte Italian. That is almost, I, I think we can put that on the spaghetti and get away with it, I really do. Get the smell coming off of that is wonderful. I let it simmer, simmer for, I don't know, about three, four minutes. Now it's time to come in here with the sauce. Go ahead and marry that in. If you're here in the Philippines, and you're new to the Philippines and you're going to try to make spaghetti and you're from the West, make sure you get Italian style. If this thing says Philippine, if that thing doesn't say Italian style and it says Filipino style, you're going to be in for a, uh, for a treat because it's not going to be what you're used to. You're going to be eating Jollibee style spaghetti like no other spaghetti you've ever ate in your life. So pay attention to uh, the spaghetti sauce when you go buy it here. I mean, obviously, you got a Filipino girlfriend or wife. She's going to come back with the Filipino style, but that's not the spaghetti that we as Americans are used to. I'm just warning. And tonight, we are cooking foreign guy style tuna spaghetti. So it's like a 50-50, like you know? The lady's going to love the tuna, but the sauce and everything else is my style. So it's a compromise. It's a 50-50 compromise. All right, so these dudes over here falling in line. Falling in line, being good. Good little sheeple over here. 
Make sure you wear your mask when you get down in that pot. Do your fucking distance. Alright, so I strained them noodles. And folks, everybody cooks spaghetti, serves it up differently, but I always marry it together. So it's just going right there into the pot. I like to marry it together and, uh, you know, that's the way my mom always cooked it. I know some people keep the pot separate so you can decide how much you want to put on there. But for me, once I get everything together, I let it sizzle for just a little bit longer just to just to marry those flavors perfectly together. Put the lid on just for a minute. Just let it sort of bake for a second and then uh, and we're good. Folks, so meal is prepared, table is set. Just letting that spaghetti just boil off some of that steam, cool off. So we're about five minutes away from eating. I told the lady it's just, uh, just easy, easy greasy. They're like, you know, when you line up them race horses or them greyhounds and dogs at the track and they're in there and they're just ready to go, ready to go. You gotta keep the gates on these Filipinas. They're trying to jump the gun on the meal. So I got the, got the reins pulled back on them ladies. I said, look, just let me smoke a cigar. By the time I smoke my cigar, uh, everything's gonna be perfect. So, folks, got me a Phillies blunt. A blunt, fresh blunts, my goodness. Mm. Oh yeah, that's a real good flavor. Mm. As always, shout out to my buddy Duke, man. We certainly appreciate it. Folks, I got some information that may uh, solve my, uh, my problem with the liquor ban. I'm gonna try it out tomorrow. I'm gonna try to make a run. See if I can go ahead and get stocked up. Mm. Oh yeah, that's delicious. Man, that's delicious. Fresh cigar. We were talking about this, I've talked about it many times, but you know, you buy cigars here in the Philippines, they're so dry. The local brands that you buy are so dry, the taste is it's just not good. They're, they're just not, they don't work for me. Maybe you like them, but I don't like them. Now, if I'm down in her village and I go to the market and I buy, you know, fresh tobacco leaves and those uh, wrappers, the leaves from the lump, what's called a lumboy tree, I think it is. That is fresh. I love that. But um, cigars that are packaged here, you know, roll packaged, whatever, whatever in the Philippines, are just too dry for my taste. And then what happens, you know, there's stores around here that will sell Swisher Sweets and U.S. you know cigars. But they're so damn dry and old. You know, if you think about it, I mean, hell, they got to ride a damn boat over here 45, 60 days by the time they get to where they're going. Then they're going to sit in some shop for, for months until you come along and, and pick that brand. And they've probably been sitting in the damn dis, you know, display case in front of the sunlight. Um, so even, even if you get your hands on a good Swisher Sweet or, you know, something from the US that you're, you're used to and that you want. It's so damn old and so dry, it's just not good. So, in getting cigars here, buying some good cigars here is a challenge in my experience. Now, if you're down on Burgo Street and you go to uh, you know Cafe Cabana on the bottom of the Bellagio, they have a cigar selection there to keep them in humidors. Now you can get some, some decent stuff down there, but it's expensive. You know, steep. Mm. Oh yeah. I want to thank everybody for joining us on uh, yesterday's video. Well, actually, earlier today, the video tour of my refrigerator. And you know, National Geographic contacted me. They're interested in doing a an entire show on my refrigerator on uh, Doomsday Preppers. You know, there was just so much good stuff that I had accumulated and collected and staged in that riff that I'm prepared for any lockdown, any doomsday scenario. And so they're, they're thinking about doing a 45 minute segment just on, uh, you know, the contents of my refrigerator. If you haven't seen that video, it's the one previous to this. 
Just go ahead and check that out. Coming up on 30,000 subscribers, first of all, I want to say thank you for subscribing to my channel, listening to my voice, watching our videos. If you're not a subscriber, folks, bottom right-hand corner of your screen, what you do, there's a little overstay road sign about right there. You click on that, and then go ahead and, and hit that bell. You, hit, you gotta ring that bell. Yo, Adrian! It's me, Rocky! They're ringing that bell. I can't do a great uh, impression of Rocky, but if you ring that bell right there and when I post a video, you're going to know it. And I certainly appreciate it. Coming up on 30,000. It's like 30 karat gold. I'm so excited. Once we hit that 30,000, I got to do something special. Some type of little celebration. Alright folks, here's what we're working with. This is the final product right here. Look at that spaghetti. Oh yeah, that looks delicious. Got a salad going on. Oh, folks, that's 4G approved. 